think there are a number of key risks um, that manifest when investors aren't properly considering the delivery community. And by delivery community, I mean the designers, the engineers, the builders, the contractors, the technology providers, and the operators. Um, and I think there's a big risk if we're um, not factoring the interconnected nature of the climate challenge, um, and particularly knowing how we can value the solutions that are needed to address those challenges beyond just the ROIs and the returns on investment that clearly investors are looking for. I think there's, there's more to this than just the price of things. It's very much the value issue, which when it comes to things like social value, uh, nature recovery, biodiversity net gain, there's an increasing number of value outcomes that are being sought in the project proponent space, whether you're a central government, local authority or a city mayor trying to drive these things, even private organisations, and squaring that value that they want with the value that investors want. And I think there's a risk there that we are misaligned and we don't quite understand each other's expectations and wants. And I think we need to work harder at aligning those things. We're integrating uh, decarbonisation and resilience um, and the net zero challenge more broadly into what we do um, through reorienting our purpose organisationally and that starts with our mission and sort of our purpose is about engineering a better future for our planet and its people um, but that's, that's obviously just, that's a statement um, and, and it'd be easy to just, just push something like that but actually what we're trying to do is operationalize that purpose um, into how we actually deliver our projects and where we have the greatest impact at Atkins Realis is through the work we do we design uh, we, we help build and help construct and help operate infrastructure systems of all shapes and sizes across the world across all sorts of asset classes and so if we can get that right and we can integrate our frameworks around resilience which we've been creating over the last couple of years um, our Carbon Insights platform, which looks at how we take carbon out of projects. Um, we are now mainstreaming those frameworks, those ways of thinking into the project workflows of every single project so that we're able to make sustainable infrastructure the norm, not the exception, which is currently where we are. And so we're working really hard to empower and enable all of our staff from our C-suite all the way down to our graduates to make sure they're asking the right questions at the right time to drive the right outcomes. So I think it's really important to have forums like this, particularly around sustainable investment, because nothing happens without money, financing, funding. Like This is a huge challenge that requires a lot of money. So first and foremost, we've got to get that right. I think it's also been really useful today with me from the delivery community coming here and engaging with the investment community um, to start looking at where the gaps are and where some sort of risks and blind spots might be. Um, and I think with the breakout sessions and the round tables, I've actually really been able to explore where, where I think we can really come together, not, and not just in the investment community and the delivery community, but actually it's been touched on here today and I think it needs to be touched on more going forward, is the insurance community and how they help us manage risk, allocate risk, as we're also looking at managing finance and allocating finance, and how we operationalize those intentions into how we then deliver those things and actually drive certainty in how we achieve what is now becoming a much wider array of value outcomes um, across things like, as I've said earlier, social value, biodiversity and so on, nature recovery. So uh, I think having this forum is, is an excellent space to really explore that and, and address them.